Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid. The Google live stream has just finished, and right now I'm going to be telling you the top three things that they announced at this Google event. So as I said guys, I'm going to be talking about the top three things that I think was cool and going to be really popular that Google announced. So I'm going to start off from number three and go all the way down to number one. So first we're starting off at number three is the new version of Android, Android 4.3. So, uh, as you realize, Android 4.3 isn't a huge upgrade from 4.2.2. They've actually uh, announced some stuff that we already predicted and some cooler stuff too. So, I'm going to start off with restricted profiles. So, basically what this lets you do is, if you're used to the multi-user interface where you could switch between users on your Nexus 7, for example, well now they have this new feature if you are the parent and you don't want your kid installing or buying new stuff then when they go into their own so basically when you're in your user account you can disable different apps for in-app purchases so if your kid was to go into his user account and enter the app they wouldn't be able to see any of those in in the app purchases so I guess that could save you money that's more security stuff uh, next, they also announced Bluetooth Smart, which nothing special. We've heard about this. Basically, when you connect to Bluetooth, it will not waste as much battery life and it will be more battery efficient for your device. So that's pretty good, especially if you use Bluetooth a lot. So next, what I want to talk about in Android 4.3 is OpenGLES 3.0. Basically, what this is, is it allows you... It allows developers to have 3D, more 3D-like games for Android. So, for uh, some of those games are going to be coming soon, and the APK was released for developers to use. So basically, this is just support for higher quality games on Android. Last but not least for Android 4.3 is now you are allowed to stream 1080p from stuff like Netflix. So I guess that's really cool now if you, for example, get the new Nexus 7, which I'll be talking about in a little, you'll be able to stream 1080p live videos from Netflix instead of having the 720p and not the full HD videos. At number two, I want to talk about Chromecast. So this was a new thing that they released, and this is basically a device. So it's a small two-inch device that basically all you do is you plug it into your TV HDMI so you plug it into one of your HDMI ports on your TV so it's it comes in at thirty five dollars so that's a pretty good price I'll explain you what this does basically it streams stuff for, uh, to your TV from apps like Netflix YouTube Google Play movies Google Play TV Google Play music and Pandora so what this does you'll have a little button on top of each of your apps that you have that support screencast and basically as I said you plug it in the HDMI port it's really easy to set up all you have to do is set up the Wi-Fi and then your device is your controller so you could go into any app like YouTube Netflix Google Play Music and at the corner as I said there'll be a little button that says screencast so you're gonna click on that and that's gonna basically open up the screencast it'll screen it on your TVs it'll it's a cloud service, so that doesn't mean you have to be stuck in that app on your phone. You could exit out YouTube, do whatever you want, but it will still stream it on your TV. So I guess this is kind of like the Nexus Q that was a horrible fail, but it's a lot simpler and cheaper as it only comes in at $35. So the APK was also released on the developer website, so developers can put that in their apps to support it. Uh, this will work with Laptop, uh, laptops, tablets, and phones. It supports iOS and Android, and it should be coming on July. Actually, you can pre-order it today, and it will be able to pick up in stores at Best Buy and Amazon. You could buy it very soon. Last but not least, at number one, I want to talk about the new Nexus 7. So this has been rumored for a while, and we've all been waiting for this device for a long time. 
There have been a lot of rumors. We even saw Best Buy actually an hour before the Nexus 7 was even announced. It had the new Nexus 7 on this website. So basically, um, this new Nexus 7 is kind of everything that was already leaked. So, I mean, I can't tell you too much new things. It is a lot thinner. The bezels are thinner and it is a lighter device. So the screen is 1920 by 1200 and it's went from 216 ppi on the old Nexus 7 to around 323 ppi. So you're going to get a lot better looking screen. So it actually says that it's the best screen on any 7 inch tablet and definitely is because iPad mini is not even close. I have the 1.2 megapixel camera, the 5 megapixel camera on the back. 9 hours of HD video, 10 hours of web browsing. So they said it's actually 1 hour better battery life than you would get before on this device. Also you do get studio speakers on the front, so uh, double stereo speakers, so that means on each side. Also the CPU is 1.8 times faster and the GPU is 4 times faster. And this of course has a 1.5 GHz Snapdragon S4 processor, so quad core. So it's going to be a step up. Also, you do get 2 gigabytes of RAM now. So apps should open quicker and it'll be a lot faster. So there is an LTE model and the normal models. So the normal models are 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte, and the 32 gigabyte LTE. The 16 gigabyte will come in at $239. The 32 gigabyte will come in at $269. And the 32 gigabyte LTE comes around $340. And the LTE version will support T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T. So, apparently these are coming on July 30th. You will be able to pre-order it and pick it up in stores like Best Buy and some other GameStop and other options. Uh, it should be released in Japan, South Korea, Australia, and some more countries at this on July 30th, as I said. So, uh... A lot of other stuff was announced in Google, as I said. There was new Google Play apps announced, like Google Textbooks, and also some new games, and the game app is going to be released today, too. So, guys, um, those were my top three things at Google's event today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit the like button down below. Also, do make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and the latest tech news. And, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.